Hello, this is Daniel. I'm the director of Who's Afraid of Alice Miller. And first of all, I would like to say I really wanted to come and to stay with you, to hear your reactions on my movie. Unfortunately, I r it was really not possible. I tried hard, but uh, for my next work, I am here in Bologna for research, and we have a deadline. And yeah, it's a pity. Also, I can't see this uh, this landscape. I researched a little bit, and I learned it's uh, the home of, of Orpheus, the great musician of antique times. <laughs> However. I hope I, uh, you will enjoy the movie and I'm sure this festival is the, the first edition but already through the communication with the festival director, with the assistants, I could feel this is really a festival with passion and a festival which is very important for me about movies and people watching movies and discussing a bit about it much more than uh, uh, film marketing, which unfortunately a lot of festivals nowadays <laughs> became. So, when you watch the movie, I would like to give you just one idea to to watch it. Of course, everybody is free how to watch it. For me personally, it was important to create a movie which shows the many layers of a story. I really was convinced this is a story which goes above the, the, let's say, the private family story level, which is uh, embedded in history, in psychological issues, and this film somehow is uh, a try to, to bring them together and to, to tell something which is bigger than just the, this, this very dramatic and tragic family story because I think yes it, it tells something about war in general that it's not over after it's obviously on the outside over it goes on and it has his uh, unfortunately his destructive uh, uh, potential which is uh, really tragic it was my first uh, catching moment when I understood I met Martin Miller and he is born in Switzerland in peace everything but still I'm sitting in front of somebody who is a late victim of the Holocaust then I understood this is crazy this really proves how how bad war is in this sense of meaning it it has a pacifistic uh, <laughs> tendons this movie and the second thing I would like to tell you because there are a lot of discussion how much you can go in documentaries how far you can go to to stage scenes for me with this topic with this subject Holocaust war etc it was an absolutely no go so everything you see in this movie is not staged it really happened like you see it on screen I try to develop kind of a method how to be with the protagonist and to to go through them, to choose the locations, to just give them an input what the topic might be now and then just roll the camera and never stop it. Okay, it has a price. <laughs> we worked uh, one and a half a year in the editing suite but it was important for me to really uh, find authenticity and giving an experience which comes in a sense near to a fictional movie because there are scenes there is not a a, a voiceover explaining stuff and we have a few moments where where we have some sentences to to bring on the story with with some essential information but except this it should really give you an emotional journey and show bring up the topics by yes by by real scenes by real encounters of, of real people what they think what they said so somehow I will learn your reactions uh, the director of the festival told me he will uh, tell me later and I'm glad, I'm really curious 
how you will react, uh, how you find the movie. Feel free to, to criticize, to bring up every topic. That's not an issue for me. I'm just curious. And it's beautiful for a film director to have uh, an audience who reacts. Thank you very much. And enjoy the movie. And I wish you a wonderful time at the festival. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.